Hey guys, welcome to Cora Radar, your one-stop shop for tips and tricks in the digital world. Today we'll talk about how to fix an iPhone that won't boot past the Apple logo. Many iPhone users reported to us that they get stuck on the Apple logo and can't move past it to turn on. This can be a serious problem since it'll prevent you from starting your iPhone and loading the lock screen or home screen. As a result, you can't access the data and app on your iPhone to start your day as usual. Though, you don't have to despair. What causes this issue and how to fix iPhone not booting up past the Apple logo easily and safely? Keep watching, and this video will lead you to the answers. What causes an iPhone not to boot past the Apple logo? Maybe you meet the issue when booting up an iPhone. Glitches with the operating system are common culprits. Perhaps you just complete an update or restore process and find your iPhone won't go past the Apple logo after that. Then, the unexpected errors from the procedure and a malfunctioning iOS software installation should take the blame for the iPhone hanging on the boot-up process. Besides, that your iPhone will not boot past Apple logo might be the result of low storage, an interrupted data transfer, and iPhone jailbreaking failure. In some instances, physical impact, water damage, overheating and so on can also create problems to stop an iPhone from booting properly. Thankfully, you can get your device booting and running again on your own. So here's what you need to do when the iPhone will not go past the Apple logo. Don't worry if you're a novice of digital devices or a new iPhone user. We'll introduce all the methods step by step. Besides, if you have any questions, write it down in the comment below and we'll reply to you within 24 hours. Force reboot your iPhone to move past the Apple logo. Pressing the power button on and off might be the first action you may take when the iPhone won't load past the Apple logo. Actually, there is usually an official button press combo for troubleshooting digital device issues and it's the same for Apple's iPhone. One of them is the combination of button presses to do a force restart. This can be used when your iPhone doesn't boot up properly and gets stuck on Apple logo for a long time or keeps blinking the logo on and off. This won't delete your device data and it can be done within a minute without a computer. To force restart an iPhone 8, iPhone 10, or later iPhone models, press and quickly release the volume up button. Press and quickly release the volume down button. Press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. To force restart an iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, press and hold both the volume down button and side button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. To force restart an iPhone 6s or older iPhone models, press and hold both the home button and the sleep or wake button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. Now, wait for a few seconds. Hope your iPhone boots up and proceeds to the usual lock screen. Update iPhone to its latest iOS version. If the force restart doesn't work, you can try another official button press combo to put your iPhone into recovery mode. Then, apply a computer to update the iOS on your iPhone that's stuck on Apple logo and not getting any further with booting. This won't delete your device data, either. Get a USB cable to connect your iPhone to a PC or Mac. Then, open iTunes or Finder. Next, grab your device and follow the steps below to enter recovery mode. The steps vary on different iPhone models. For iPhone 8 and later models, press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold the volume down button and the side button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 6s and earlier models, Press and hold the home button and the side or top button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. You can try a few times if you can't succeed once. After you manage to enter the recovery mode, keep your iPhone attached to the computer and go to iTunes or Finder window. From there, choose the update option to download and install the latest available iOS version. For most users, the update process might take at least one hour, so please wait patiently. If your iPhone exits the recovery mode during the process, Repeat the steps above again. After that, you should see iPhone boots past the Apple logo and load the lock screen. Unlock your device and now it's up and running again. Check backups and reset your iPhone. If you've tried the recovery mode method, you should see there's also a restore option. It can be used if the update trick doesn't help move past the Apple logo on iPhone. The steps are almost the same as what you do to do the update. The only difference is that doing a restore will delete everything on your device. That way, 98% software issues leading to that iPhone won't turn on past Apple logo can be fixed. So, 
Go through iCloud or computer and see if you have backups. If you do, follow the steps to restore your device. Get a USB cable to connect your iPhone to a PC or Mac and run iTunes or Finder. Next, enter recovery mode. For iPhone 8 and later models, press and quickly release the volume up button, the volume down button and then hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold the volume down button and the side button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 6s and earlier models, press and hold the home button and the side or top button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. You can try a few times if you can't succeed once. After you manage to enter the recovery mode, keep your iPhone attached to the computer and go to iTunes or Finder window. From there, choose the restore option. After completing the on-screen instructions, iTunes or Finder will first wipe clean your iPhone that won't get past Apple logo. Then, it'll download and install the latest available iOS software on your device. After that, the iPhone boots past the Apple logo and loads the hello screen. It means that your issue is remedied. Call tech support. When all the troubleshooting steps above are exhausted, the issue is likely found inside the iPhone hardware that you can't fix yourself. For example, the iPhone can't move past the Apple logo due to a shattered screen, degraded batteries, worn internal components, exposure to moisture and so on. To avoid further damage, this is probably a good time to contact tech support. If you bought the device within a year, you can contact Apple about what repair options are covered under your warranty. And there you have it, folks. We've reached the end of our video on how to fix an iPhone that won't boot past the Apple logo. Thank you for watching, and we wish you the best of luck in getting your iPhone back in working condition. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more tech-related content. Until next time.